What's up guys, Zertrix here. In today's video, we're bringing you a glorious Model O mouse um, unboxing or package opening. And uh, the reason I'm doing this little voiceover is because in this uh, original video, somehow I lost the audio in the beginning. So uh, I thought I'd let you guys know what's going on here. Um, I just talk a little bit about the mouse in the beginning and then I will show um, the exact mouse unboxing, what it looks like, how, how everything comes and what it comes with. Um, but stay tuned for the rest of this video. Thanks the for watching. new glorious Model O mouse finally arrived. Um, if you're not familiar with this mouse, it is brand new from the glorious PC gaming race. And um, there's been pretty big wait times for this mouse and people have been ordering it. Uh, it's on back order right now, as you can see. But uh, we finally got ours. It comes in several different finishes. Very, very affordable high-end mouse. Uh, very comparable to the final mouse, but way cheaper. And probably a little cooler to me. Uh, with customizable RGB lighting, 67 grams, extremely lightweight. With an extremely lightweight ascending cord um, that you could not even tell is there most of the time from what I've been told and what I've seen. Um, very, very high-end um, feet. G skate feet for the bottom of the mouse and um, you might not think that's important but stuff like this mouse this razor it has like these very large feet on it that just aren't that good um, that's why in my opinion razors are they're not very they're not very high end for gaming mice they're just um, entry level to me uh, but this one comes with very very high end uh, feet on it as well and a very good sensor uh, laser sensor and DPI adjustments on the bottom and uh, comes in several finishes right there, matte and gloss. And uh, overall, it's just an amazing mouse with its uh, own software and everything to customize the RGB. And hopefully this is as good as what I've anticipated it to be. So let's, um, let's get straight into it. And that is the box it comes in. Model O. Very nicely packaged and cellophane wrapped. So let's um, get that fully opened. Nice two piece box. So once the top slides off, this is what it will look like. Already extremely nice looking. Oh my god, that is so light. The box alone feels lighter than this razor. That's kind of crazy. Let me uh, get that out of there for you guys. Alright. So, like I was talking about the cable being super lightweight. Um, it definitely is. It almost feels like shoelace. It's kind of crazy. Literally feels like shoelace. The mouse is just extremely light. Oh my god. It feels great in my hand as well. It fits perfectly. I was a little worried because this mouse I got that has a little side handle for your thumb there. I was a little worried that I've gotten used to that so much. And this one doesn't really have that that this would be kind of annoying to me, but it's definitely not. It feels very smooth. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get it plugged up for you guys real quick. Oh, one more thing, just in case anybody's wondering. I know some people do. The stuff that comes with in the box. Um, just a welcome to the Glorious Legion. A little uh, letter from Glorious. A Glorious sticker decal. And I guess some... DPI settings and some of the RGB settings and the software settings. It shows you, I guess, a little bit how to use it and what it does. And I guess some advertisement for the site and for another keyboard they have. Alrighty. Well, that is what comes in there. So let's get into the software and to the RGB lighting and all that. So that is what it looks like once it is plugged into your computer. So as soon as you plug it in, it already comes with this default RGB um, setting on it. Very nice. 
I didn't know how it feel about the holes in here and everything. Kind of worries me still. That stuff might like get inside of the mouse. But um, I think it should be all right. Super, super smooth. The DPI feels a bit high right now. Um, as soon as you get the mouse, you're gonna wanna come to PCGamingRace.com um, and go to the firmware and the software. Download that, it'll give you a zip folder. Firmware update, firmware update, I guess we should do the firmware update first. So it'll set up your device, LEDs on it have gone off. Device is ready to use. I'm assuming that it's finished, the firmware update. And it's not working at the moment, so this is why I wanted to show you guys this, so you know what you're dealing with when you get the mouse. So I'm going to unplug, and I got some messy cable management. Unplug it, and plug it back in, and it's back on. Alright, so the firmware update, done. Software, actually there's a readme file, Tomorrow's is plugged in your computer, and I'm all of up to I'm unplugging the mouse during this process. Once the update is complete, update windows will close automatically. Click your model, unplug it back in. Okay, so it actually tells you to unplug it, plug it back in. There's now a list firmware. All right, so let's go to the software. Alrighty, there it is. It has customization. Um, for the side buttons on here, like the uh, the macros, how you could kind of like make um, on the Razer mouse, you can make one of these little side things link up to one of these keys. So basically, on your Fortnite or your any of your games, instead of like binding the the action to this button, um, it'll bind it to the key, but that key is binded to your mouse. So kind of weird how it works, but. Alrighty, so we got some color adjustments here. Let's go ahead and just change them all. Oh my god. This is not my color settings, that is my DPI 400. Jesus, okay. We're gonna go to 800. That's what I normally play on. So yeah, this is the DPI setting. So I guess this is an indicator, this light. Will indicate which one you're on, possibly. So let's just apply that. So that's still red. We're on the 800 one. Let's untick all of these. Let's just do. Let's just do the blue. Yep. So the light there will indicate what DPI setting that you're on. And sorry for the focus of this. It'll indicate what DPI setting you're on. So we'll change that. We got a 400 and 800 option. I'll just leave those two really. That's all I really need. So, still on that one. Lighting. So I guess you could really only change the speed. So I changed the speed to 3. And you can see it rapidly changes through. You can change it to 2. Slows down a bit. Change it to one. Gets real slow. Not sure what that is. Oh, you can change the direction. The flow of the RGB. That's pretty cool. Mouse parameter. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not too sure of what mouse parameter means. So I'm not gonna mess with it. Pulling rate. I usually always keep it at 1000. That is the best pulling rate you want to keep it at. Debounce time. Yeah, I'm not sure what debounce time is either. Wouldn't mess with the bounce at all. If you don't know what it is, don't mess with it. And before you mess with it, do your research on it. And you could change profiles of the macros that you have um, for different games. You could change that. 
So it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, it has pretty much the same features as my Razer did, but I mean, it's just a better looking, lighter, just better functioning mouse. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this for probably a few days and then upload another video on um, what I think about it and just how it is overall. And um, that's my keyboard, the, um, oh geez, what was this thing called? The Annie Pro 2. Sorry, it's been a while since I've got this, but love that they're perfectly matching with the RGB now, except for this needs to be white to match my computer case and my whole build. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this helped. And if you're waiting on your mouse and you wanted to see a little bit about it before you get it, there you go. And I hope this video was helpful to somebody out there. But if you enjoyed it, throw that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Peace out.